There's no doubt in my mind that the Barrett 50 Cal is an incredible piece of machinery. But the big question is, is it worth it? Let's talk about it. Today, we're talking about the Barrett 50 Cal M82A1. This one. Now here's the deal. It's an expensive rifle. I actually got a really good deal on it through Gun Prime. If I had to ballpark it, I want to say I probably paid somewhere in the $9,000 range for the rifle, the initial ammo purchase, and then the Vortex of uh, 5 to 25 by 56. One of the biggest issues with the Barrett, now it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's really just a property of the rifle itself, and that's gonna be the weight. This rifle probably weighs, I think, somewhere between 35 to 40 pounds, fully loaded. Now, that's a pretty heavy gun to be lugging around. It's not easy to shoulder fire. I've done it, I've shoulder fired it plenty of times, and I plan to do it a lot because it's really fun. It's a really heavy gun. That also means portability, I'm um, not talking about just the size, we'll talk about that in a second, but portability, lugging something that heavy around, including its heavy case, um, just more things to drag out to the truck and then back home and all that. This thing has the cool factor. It's huge, look at the size of the magazine right there. Just everything, just a huge bulky receiver. Things just, this thing's just awesome. But it's heavy. It's not fun to lug around with you. You're talking about 35 to 40 pounds of a long metal stick. This thing's absolutely earned the nickname Albondigas. That's uh, Spanish for meatballs. You can't just go fit this inside your range bag. This won't fit in any old rifle bag either. Not only is it really long, it's also really tall bulkiness. So when you have something heavy and bulky at the same time, it makes it even more inconvenient to, to lug around with you. Now, in order to transport the Barrett, you can either obviously just transport the rifle itself, but if you wanna transport it in the Pelican case that it came with, that requires it to be broken down in two. You have a pin right here, and then you have a pin back here. You pull those pins and essentially the rifle comes apart in a pivot, kind of like a giant AR-15 would. You can take the short barreled version that I have, and you can put it in the case just broken in two. If you have the long 29 inch barrel Barrett, then that means you actually have to disassemble the recoil system, which isn't a huge deal. You just take the springs and then you pop it down, release the tension, and then that whole barrel will actually retract into the, the handguard a little bit. What's nice about the short barrel version that I got is I can keep it inside my safe completely assembled. It just keep it as one. I sometimes I transport it in like a giant duffel bag thing that I have with some padding in it. Otherwise, yeah, I just break it down in half and then put it inside the Pelican. Yeah. There you go. The three negatives we talked about so far, price, weight, and bulkiness. Let's talk about something else, and that's gonna be ammunition cost. Ammunition, right now for the bear, is anywhere between $4 and up. I've seen it over $10 around, um, but I've also seen right now, with pricing, it's about $4 around. I was getting it for about $3 before everything went all crazy. So right now, about four bucks around if you buy bulk. The good news is that there's not really a shortage of 50 BMGs. I mean, I can find it pretty much everywhere still. I'd say uh, hit that, that, that wood piece. Yep. You know what I mean, that would be spray painted. Try to smash that. All right. Send it when ready. Firing. Let's talk about some pros of the Barrett. Number one, the Barrett is an absolute badass rifle. It's a 50 BMG. Everybody that I know 
would love to own one. Everybody kind of dreams of owning one, but they just can't justify the cost of owning one. I get it, that's kind of what this video is about. When you're on the shooting range, or if you're out in the desert, out in the woods, whatever, and you're shooting with a, a group of people that you haven't shot with or a new shooter, it's really cool to pull this thing out and just watch their jaws drop, especially if they're not really familiar with firearms in general. So it's really fun to have people shoot this thing too because it doesn't hurt to shoot. So you don't have to worry, I mean, scope bite is always a concern, but you don't have to worry too much about it, you know, jumping back at somebody. It's, it's really a comfy gun to shoot. The sheer size and power of the 50 BMG round itself is incredible. You're talking about, I mean, it's, it's a big, big round. The cool thing about the 50 BMG round in general, they have so many different variants and types of the 50 BMG round itself. You have tracers, you have armor piercing, you have incendiary, you have armor piercing incendiary, you have armor piercing incendiary tracers, you have the um, high explosive Ralfos rounds, you have just regular ball ammunition. There's like a bunch of different types that you can buy and it's all available for the civilian market, which is pretty cool. You guys ready? So now the, the pros that we talked about so far are, again, the, the bulkiness of it is actually a cool thing, not only a negative, but it's also a positive because a big, huge rifle is actually really neat. Uh, not practical, but I don't care about practicality. That's not why I bought it. Um, another cool thing is the ammunition availability and types. And then the other cool thing is just the sheer cool factor. And I think the last thing I could probably think of is, um, the range if you intend to do any kind of long distance shooting this guy will do it the, i mean the trigger is nothing perfect it's not exactly a precision rifle but it is a long range rifle the 50 bmg will travel very far last thing is probably the destruction capabilities i love blowing things up i love destroying things i have a bowling ball destruction video um body armor destruction all this stuff when you hit things with that 50 BMG, especially when you hit things with that 50 BMG API, oh man, that is, it's fun. It's satisfying. It's just such a cool feeling just blowing things apart. Um, it's, that's what I like doing is kind of what the channel uh, originally was about. So uh, not only just reviews, but just destruction and blowing things up with guns is really, really fun. Anyways, let's talk a little deeper about different situations now. As a content creator, I'm a, I'm a YouTuber. I'm a content creator. I love making videos. I love filming videos, whether they're cinematic style, but I love anything to do with guns and barbecue, but mostly guns, right? That cool footage, that cool destruction footage um, coming from the influencer side, from the content creator side is really neat. The 50 BMG has the wow factor that I really want for my YouTube channel. Um, if I'm doing an armor test, you know, I do the main test with the calibers it's rated for, but then you know what? I'm gonna rip out that 50 BMG and then really put a hole inside it. It's just cool, it's, I, I just really enjoy it. Has it paid itself off on my channel right now? Not really, no, but not all investments are. And I look at this as a channel investment. This is an investment for the YouTube channel. So I think from the content creator side, I think if you're willing to make big jumps and if you're willing to, go the extra mile and even, you know, however you want to procure the money, I, I think the 50 BMG is a pretty cool thing to have in my collection. What I'm trying to get at is from the content creator side, yes, I think the 50 BMG is absolutely worth it because it gives me that content. It gives me that pizzazz that I'm looking for. It gives me the cool cinematic destruction, even if it hasn't necessarily paid itself off. So if I was a, an enthusiast that does not have a YouTube channel, um, that I'm not a video creator, whatever, would I still buy that? And I don't think I would. Um, now, like I said, one thing I love to do is taking this out to the range and then having other people shoot it and just watching their faces and watching them love shooting it is one of my favorite parts. You know, people are like, they wanna pay me for me to let them shoot the 50. And I'm like, no, just shoot it. I'd, let me watch your face. Let me film your face doing it because that's the fun part. The reaction, seeing somebody be able to experience something that cool is really worth it to me. But, it's not necessarily worth it to me enough to spend almost 10 grand on a rifle and 
um, just to watch other people have fun. Now, yeah, I have fun when I shoot it too, but again, when it comes down to, if I have a YouTube channel, I don't care too much about practicality of a firearm. If I'm just gonna be a private collector, on an average person's budget, that's way over budget for me, for something that's just fun. I'm not gonna hunt with it, it's too bulky to hunt with. Um, I'm not really into long range shooting, though there are some pretty good long range spots not too far from me. I just don't know anything about it and I haven't really experienced that yet. I bought it for the destruction and content creation, not just for having a cool rifle. Coming from the influencer video side, yeah, I think it's worth it, but not necessarily from just a private shooter. Now, that being said, if money is no issue to you, then yeah, go ahead and buy it. It doesn't really matter if you own it or not. But if you're the average person out there, 10 grand to spend on a, on a firearm is a lot of money. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm not trying to give you guys recommendations. I'm just saying I personally probably wouldn't myself because it's really expensive. But like I said, if you have the money and it's not an issue to spend that kind of lump of money on a rifle, then by all means, go and get it. It's a really cool, it's really cool, it's really fun. You're gonna love owning it. I know a few people that own these and they're not video creators, they just own them because they love them. In fact, actually one of them owns the M107, which is even more expensive than that. There you guys have it. That's the Barrett 50 Cal. That's my Barrett M82A1. In my point of life where I'm at right now, I'm very happy to own one and it is absolutely worth it to me. I hope you all found this video useful. Hope you all found it insightful. I got lots of content, a lot of 50 BMG videos, a lot of destruction videos. In fact, I used a whole bunch in this clip as well. Hit that subscribe button and go check out all the other 50 cal videos and other gun videos I have too. By the way, don't forget to check out my Gaucho Q barbecue channel. The link is in the description below. Mr. Big Kid was all about firearms and barbecue mixed together, but I'm just kind of splitting them now. I'm doing barbecue on the barbecue channel, <laughs> guns on the gun channel. Hope you all have an awesome week and I'll see you guys.